Welcome to the Hymn of the Week from Bakerview Church. My name is Harry Heidebrecht, the pastor emeritus at Bakerview. Our lead pastor, Carrie Dick, is on vacation. Our Hymn of the Week is The Lord's My Shepherd, a paraphrase of Psalm 23. Our passage of the week is Psalm 23, and I will read from the King James Version. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The hymn of the week takes us back 3,000 years to the church's oldest hymn book, the Psalter, or better known as the Psalms. It is based on Psalm 23, perhaps the most beloved of Psalms. We add to this passage the words of Jesus spoken almost 1,000 years later when he said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. It's difficult to gauge exactly when it was that David wrote this psalm. Some suggest an early date when the youthful David shepherded his father's sheep in the valley side of, the, of Judea. Others suggest a later date when David shepherded his people as king. The content of the psalm would suggest a more contemplative and mature David, recalling a long and turbulent life led by the Lord who remained his shepherd through every season and in all circumstances. Like most believers, the church goes, passes through arid times, times of dryness, as well as times of renewal. With revival comes a resurgence of singing and of new hymns. Following the Great Reformation, the singing of psalms was once again revived, and the Psalter again was a major source of their hymnody. In 1641, an English lawyer and politician named Arthur Francis Rouse wrote a new metrical paraphrase of Psalm 23. He submitted it for publication, but the editors gave it such a thorough work over that only about 10% of his original paraphrase survived their scrutiny, but his name stuck as the author of the hymn, The Lord's My Shepherd, and it is essentially the same as the words we have today. It was officially adopted by the Church of Scotland and included in their Psalter, and since in many other hymn books. The subtitle of the hymn is simply Crimond identifying the tune by which it was to be sung. Crimmon is not the name of a composer, but the name of a parish church located in Crimmon, Scotland. At the time of composition, the pastor of this Scottish Presbyterian church was Alexander Irvine. It was his daughter, Jessie Seymour Irvine, who wrote the melody, and assisted by David Grant, a musician, who helped her with the harmonization. The hymn was completed in 1872 and verse first sung in the Crimmond Church. 
A Scottish organist and composer, W. Baird Ross, later added a descant to be sung with the hymn. The Lord's My Shepherd is also called a royal hymn. Princess Elizabeth and Prince Philip chose the hymn for their wedding in 1947. It was sung again by the Westminster Choir in 2012 at the diamond anniversary of Queen Elizabeth II's ascension to the throne of England. The hymn, The Lord's My Shepherd, came to us as a request from a couple. I have known since 1988, when they began attending the Bakerview Church. They became members and were invited to serve at the entry of the church as welcomer, welcomers and greeters to those who came to worship. They served in this capacity for almost 30 years and discontinued quite recently due to health reasons. When I inquired about the reason for choosing the hymn, she said she sang it in her youth together with her three sisters. She had sung the discant because of her high soprano voice. As life has it, it has its seasons and also its infirmities that come along with it. Her husband experienced a series of strokes affecting his speech and nobility. The COVID-19 pandemic has also forced them to be cautious with their health. Yet the shepherd remains a constant in their lives and the words of the hymn, particularly the last verse, remains their testimony to this day. Goodness and mercy all my life shall surely follow me, and in God's house forevermore my dwelling place shall be. Listen to the music as played by Karen Lensman on the flute and Ruth Thiessen at the piano, and follow the words of the hymn of the week, The Lord's My Shepherd, by Arthur Francis Rouse, music by Jesse Seymour Irvine. 